Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwaconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to implement a slowly changing dimension of type 2 with full extraction from the source. For the example, we are going to take a customer dimension as SCD2. Let's go straight to the implementation using data services. We begin with the initialization script where we are going to set a few global variables. The first global variable being the dollar system date which is set to the sysdate function in data services. This will basically be used to populate the load date field of the dimension table for each records to identify when was this record loaded. Next we have a effective date from as we know in SAD type 2 implementation we have a few key fields namely three fields one is the date from and one is the date 2 which gives the validity of that particular record in the dimension table. Along with that we usually put a version or an active flag. So the active flag values can be set to y and n which uh, signifies whether the current record is active or not. So in this case we are using two global variables dollar date from which is set to the sys date and the dollar date to that is the effective end date of that record the expiry date of that record is set to a futuristic date in this example we have considered this as 31st of December 2050. Next we go to the data flow implementation. Here in this example we are going to consider a full extraction of the source. We have three source tables from our OLTP system one is the customer table another is the customer tire and another is the address table. First we have used a query transform to perform a join of this source tables. So let us go to the from tab over here you can see that I have made an inner join of the customer table with the tier table based on the tier id and again an inner join based on the address id with the address table. And these are our columns of interest and we have captured all these columns as the new output fields. So we have the source customer id which is the source natural key followed by other fields. Over here we have used a full address which is a concatenation of the line 1, line 2 and line 3 of the address table. And we have not considered any where clause because we are capturing the full extract from the source. Next we are going to perform a lookup on our target customer dimension table which is a type 2 SCD. Also to note over here we have put the active flag as Y, the effective date from as the global variable date from which is the system date and date 2 is set to a futuristic date what we have set in the global variable date 2 and the load date is set to global variable dollar sys date. Next we perform a lookup on the target customer dimension table. Over here we are using a lookup function call. So based on the source natural key and the active flag we are performing a lookup. So we have passed the active flag f as y. So in this case we are going to return the customer key based on the source customer id and those records which are currently active. Apart from that we are also uh, returning the status and the full address. Here in this particular example we are interested to capture any change in the attributes of status and full address. Also the cache type of the lookup being preload cache. After lookup we are performing a new out we are taking a new output column to determine the nature of the record whether it is the record is destined to be insert if there is no if the lookup returns null value means there is no existing record with the source natural key in our target dimension table in that case we need to insert that record in the dimension table and for records which return a surrogate key from the dimension table and if there is any value mismatch between the status of the incoming field and that in the dimension table or if the full address from the target dimension table 
is not equal to the full address coming from the source, then we need to update that record, basically upset that record. We need to close that uh, current active flag, current active record in our target dimension table and we need to close that record and we need to insert one more record with a new surrogate key and with the futuristic date as the effective date 2 and rest all the records we can discard because over here we are only interested to capture these two attributes that is the status and the full address coming from the source in our customer dimension table. So, once we have set the flag for insert and upsert we are using a case transform to route the rows. We have taken two label, one for insert, which is value is based on insert and upsert, because for records which are already existing in the target dimension table, we need to insert one more record coming from the source with a new surrogate key with active flag Y and effective end data as futuristic date. And for upsert flag, we will update those existing records. Uh, having the surrogate key being written by our lookup function and we need to close their active flag as n and the effective end date we will set as today's system date. After we have used the case transform, this is our insert path over here. Everything is the same and next we are using a key generation transform to generate the surrogate key for our corresponding dimension table. Over here we have selected that table name as our target dimension table, the generated key column is the customer key which is the surrogate key and the increment value is 1. And finally, we have our customer dimension table. So, these are the three more columns which uh, identifies the record validity that is the effective date from date 2 and active flag. Apart from that as usual we also consider a basic uh, error handling check that is we are using a overflow file. So, if there is any rejection during insertion those will be captured in the reject file. Next we go to the update flow and over here we are putting the active flag as n and the date from is set to the system date that effective date 2 we need to close that record is set to date from and this customer's key that is the surrogate key is being returned by the lookup function. Next we use the map operation because this all this rows coming in is of upcode normal. So, we need to use a map operation to treat all the normal rows as update. So, based on the customer key we are going to update the effective date 2 that is the validity date 2 and the active flag to n in our target dimension table. So, that is it this is the implementation of slowly changing dimension of type 2 with full extraction from the source table. After that we have used a catch block. So, whenever there is any exceptions arising in the job we want to handle the error message to be produced in the job log. Apart from that we are raising an exception considering that if any exceptions happens within the job we do not want to display the complete status of the job we want to mark it as terminated. So, that is why we have used the raise exception function call. Apart from that if everything goes smooth, but if there is any database rejection since we have performed our error handling the job will not fail instead it will write the rejected records in the reject file. So, in case we want to fail the status of a job or we want to mark the status of a job as failure in case there is any rejection file generated. So, for that case we are using the function get file attribute the reject file name followed by the attribute called size and if the size is greater uh, size of the reject file is greater than 0 then we are raising an exception we mark the job is terminated with a status message as job failed check the reject file. That is it this is the implementation of SAD type 2 with full extraction from the source. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this tutorial for any details please visit dwbaconcepts.com. Thank you.